A lot of people tell you you need a vacuum pump, you need vacuum. Some people don't use vacuum, you really should. Evac the system. You should put vacuum in the system before you fill it. You want to get as much air out of here as possible. That's important. A lot of people say you got to have vacuum on here for like 15 minutes because it draws out the moisture. I don't know how people think it's going to draw out more moisture by holding vacuum for 15 minutes versus holding it for 5 seconds. There's no way it's just going to magically just pull itself out of there when you're you're pulling 15 inches of vacuum and it's just sitting there doing nothing. So, and another thing with vacuum too that that's that's kind of kind of gets my goat is there's there's really no such thing as vacuum. It's all just differential pressure. Okay, there's a difference between atmosphere and whatever. So, like if you're up in the frickin' mountains, you know, thirty thousand feet up in the mountains, and you're recharging AC and you're doing evac, evac, it's going to be different than going down at sea level because. You're measuring inches of vacuum, and, and really, it, it, it's it's not the same as measuring differential pressure. It's actually going to be completely different pressure. So when somebody says vacuum, it kind of it stirs up my brain. I'm sorry, but it does. But um, I don't have one of them fancy billion dollar pumps, and I'm surprised I didn't patent something like this. But all I did was I found manifold vacuum, and I put a vacuum line in it. And I got a vacuum gauge just for the heck of it and I hook it up to the low side and I'm just gonna pull vacuum on this for I don't know and then I'm just gonna unplug this while it's running and it's gonna have vacuum in the system so that's how I do things see I got my 15 inches of vacuum that's great. It's actually over 15 inches of vacuum. It's almost 20 inches of vacuum. See, I'll just let that run. Look at that, I'm at almost 20 inches. Why do you gotta spend $400 on a vacuum pump or 200 or whatever they sell them for when you can use a vacuum gauge and use your own manifold vacuum? It does the same thing. You can argue with me all day long about it, but I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you you're wrong unless you can somehow prove otherwise, and you can. Hear that? Yep. Anybody ever patents this idea? Go right ahead, make a bunch of money. Just remember, I thought of it first, and if I didn't, I never heard of anybody else who has. That's a really nice way to evac a truck or a car. You're utilizing the engine. Simple, easy.